On my previous video, I showed how I built a solar trailer for my electric e-bike. This thing pretty much gives me unlimited range. A few of the commenters pointed out that I probably need a little bit of safety lights on the side, and I couldn't disagree with them at all on that, to tell you the truth. The ones on the back are great, gives me the rear visibility. From the sides, I got kind of the white walls around the tires, but I like a little bit of better side lighting just so somebody don't hit the trailer. If somebody hits that, they're, they're taking me out with it. I, the forces would pull me with it. My idea, at first I was just gonna add the normal uh, Department of Transportation orange lights to the side, but then I got thinking a better option would be just to add some strip lights. These are, I think what they call it, individual addressable LED lights. They can do uh, cool running effects where the light goes up and down. Anyways, I'll show you guys once I install these. These luckily are 10 millimeters and the slot inside the 2020 aluminum rails happens to be 11 millimeters, which this just happens to slide just perfectly inside of them. I'm gonna slide a strip in each side. I, of course, gotta make sure the data is pointing the right way from where the wires are hooked up. And I'm gonna get them all wired up. And this little guy here is pretty much the controller and it has a little remote with it, but even better, it'll work with my phone. And it should plug in to the same 12 volt power supply I got the rear lights running off of. I, I think I got enough amps that I should be able to do this. Another thing I did is with the back latches, I did have a trouble with either one or the other popping off. So I ended up adding this spongy cord and it just holds the two real uh, tight again so they don't pop off. It's worked great. I've went on off-road, all, all kinds of things. No problems with it. So basically, yeah, I get it. I get it to there. And then the nice thing about the LED strips is at each one of these points, it can be cut in half and then new wire soldered onto the thing. Cut up all my wires here for my rear lights because this is where I'm going to adapt in a little inverter. I'm just gonna wire a bullet into the connection on the other side of the switch. So if the switch is off, it'll shut everything else off with it. Just to save power so there's not Bluetooth and everything running back there. These little heat shrink soldering tube things just make life a lot easier, honestly. As long as you don't melt something else, yeah. Of course here I'm gonna use the lighter, not the heat gun, because while well, I'm on the back side of the solar panel. It looks pretty good. All right, now I only got the one strip in course now just want to test everything out make sure it's able to power all this shouldn't have any problem it's a three amp controller so there we go plug it in and oh nice all right so that's working good i pretty much just need to solder wires onto it to repeat the same thing on this side then now that i cut it and i want to add a new wire to it it's pretty simple you just there's silicone on it to keep it uh, water resistant. You just peel that back and I just basically just cut it off. And now from there, I'll just pretty much solder on the wire. So now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna cut the two ends of the controller there just to get um, the wire sucked up so they're nice and watertight. I'm gonna use the uh, heat shrink solder things and also gotta zip tie the controller up there just by the switch to where if I had to, I could reach under and turn it on manually. All right, got my solder seal wire connectors up here. Just pretty much gonna use the lighter technique again. Once again, too close to the solar panel to use the heat gun, unfortunately. So that yeah, Bic lighter works perfectly. It's uh, really the cheapest option to go. All right, nice. Now I just gotta do the other one going up to the top connection. All right, got all the wires on there. Now let's just give it a quick test and <laughs> Like always, hopefully no sparks. Turn on the power system and... Oh, nice, that's cool. All right, so just a little bit of wire management here. Nice, I'm gonna give it a quick living room test here. I'm gonna use a back light so I can actually see how to get to it. <laughs>
Oh, wow. Uh, that, uh... <laughs> Yeah, that definitely ups the bike's visibility. Because it looks like a UFO's coming out from behind it. Nice. Got a little remote that came with it. Probably not going to use it all that much because there's a phone app that I can do pretty much the same thing, if not more. Got red, green, blue. I guess that would be a DOT orange right there. And of course, it also has a many many effects these type lights they can do i'm very happy the way this turned out and best of all it didn't cost all that much i mean got a, a buck that converted it down to 12 volts that was I don't know, those are like 10, 12 bucks, and I already had that for the backlights. And then the LED strip, that was also like 10, 12 bucks. Needed a controller, so I, I believe that was, it wasn't too much, I believe that was another 10 bucks. So I'm only looking between like 20 to $30 to be able to do this effect, which is pretty cool. I mean, uh, I have safety features and I have like pretty much a party behind me. <laughs> yeah, I like that. And then also, the other thing it comes in handy for is just a basic light to be able to see into the trailer. And then the app, you can just turn it on using that and then you can simply pick my color there. And of course you can pick your own color, like say let's try to get up here in the orange level. There you go, that'd be more of a Department of Transportation type color there. And then of course we have the dynamic modes. They are pretty cool. Uh, yeah, there's a lot. I think there's, I don't, I don't even too sure how many are there are. Several, 142. It's like brightness, uh, effect of, the length of the effect, all kinds of cool little things. Just to be able to change the way the lights uh, tray back there. So yeah, it's definitely got a very dynamic system to it. And then. And the last systems to it, it's called the music system. Of course, I gotta make a loud noise and then it lights up. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that, that's definitely cool, guys. That's a cool little system there. Uh, well, let's see how she does uh, beating down the road over time, too. Huh? All this stuff, of course, can be found down in the description below. And try to have a great night, guys. Take it easy. Watch out for the blue pill smokers. They're crazy. Say hi. Hi. <laughs>